how much money should you spend on a vacation? That's a good question, man. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know the answer, but let's just say if you were to save up at least a check, so what you get paid every two weeks for the vacation, maybe that should be your threshold. That should be your starting point. And I've never spent more than $5,000 on a trip. And I'm saying that, that was like the most lavish trip that I've been on as an adult, just because I feel like it's, it's not a waste of money, but it's almost like you're you're giving money and you put it in the trash, almost. I mean, it, you get an experience, but you're not gonna make money off of off the trip unless you start talking about it and use that as your, you know, your personality. You start branding. Bra yeah, yeah, use that for branding. But other than that, you don't make pennies or dollars off of going on a trip. So I would just say, maybe your two weeks pay. Okay. Yeah, I would throw that in the fun money basket. So. I recommend everybody have some level of fun money unless you're deeply in debt. You know, just need to attack that debt and not worry about having fun. But now, nah, um, so the question, so I have some questions then, right? So mm -hmm. I can answer it. Is this a trip like I'm going on with the boys so I'm only responsible for me? Well, so I don't, I don't know, but in some cases, people want you to pitch in for like the Airbnb, the yeah, hotel, yeah, yeah. stuff like that. So all expenses covered. Yeah. So if it's like just a trip for me, yeah. you know, when I was traveling like that, but this is before my um, financial awakening, mm -hmm. uh, a tool that I used to use was like, hey, uh, I wouldn't spend more than two weeks pay on, I would spend up to two weeks pay on one trip a year. Every other trip, I had to fit in the budget because I used to like to travel a lot, five, six times a year. But I'll do one trip really good. that will be out of the country, far away, whether it be Thailand, Brazil, Africa, mm -hmm. places like that. I would say, okay, if it's just me, two weeks pay. Now, if we're talking about me having a spouse and I'm responsible for the whole trip, then no more than one month's pay. And that would probably be, you know, if I go all the way up to one month's pay, we're talking about once every two year type of trip for that. Okay. You know, um, but just depending on our financial situation, of course, right? If I'm a millionaire, then. Yeah, trips on me. I mean, then, the then you know, that yeah. gets modified. But just a practical sense, if you're not, you and your wife aren't deeply in debt, I think you should never exceed one month of pay on the trip. Okay, and is that combined income Combin or is that? Combined income. Combined. No, 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 no. One month of pay of the highest earner in the relationship. Okay, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. All right, so. Because that's like two weeks and two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah, how I'm looking yeah, at it, yeah. Okay. That's not a bad idea. Um, you know, when I used to travel, I would just go to two decent trips. Mm -hmm. So like not one major like Africa trip, but like maybe like Costa Rica and then maybe like a, a really expensive Miami trip or yeah. something like that. And then like those here and there, like Las Vegas, Vegas yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Um, but as of right now, like with, with COVID, you know, I have all these points saved up. I want to go on vacation, man. And so I'm, I'm trying to pick the, the perfect place, but because I've developed this finance mindset from 2017, it's like, how much can I spend? How much do I feel comfortable spending? So, yeah, I would say probably uh, two weeks pay and with a contingency of about $1,000. Yeah. So, okay. give or take. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, you know... Um, for a lot of people, especially right now during the pandemic, you know, uh, vacation doesn't seem like a big deal, but that's like a big talking point on social media. You know, everybody wants to travel, get flued out, and stuff <laughs> like that. And I, I guess I'm just here to say that, you know, for somebody that did used to travel frequently, you know, it's expensive. And I guess it's just me talking to, you know, you young people out there. They don't, don't feel pressured. To have to go on all these lavish, expensive trips. Take your time. Build your wealth. Build yourself. If you want to go on a trip, save monthly. I say, um, depending on the schedule of the trip, maybe save $100 a check, put it to the side. After a year, you can go on a good trip with that. Right. And don't just waste time when you're on this trip. Learn something. Right? If you're going out of the country, learn about the history. Maybe go to a museum. Uh, pick up uh, a book and learn the the language you know these are things that you can use for networking um, it can build your personal brand like we talked about 
So, yes, you can have fun. Yes, you can go out on the beach. You can get flued out. But learn something <laughs> about the culture, man. Learn something about it. You can get flued out. You can. Yeah, you're right. I guess you can. Um, Are so, men getting flued out, though? Well, let me ask you this. <laughs> let me ask you this, right? This What's is up? on topic and off topic. Yeah. But, you know, people love to get this commentary from us for some reason. Yeah. Um, so you're, you're, you're dating a chick. Yes. How long do you, should you guys be dating before you take her on a trip? <sighs> Man, it just depends. Like, okay. Are you trying to... Okay. How do you put this? <laughs> Are you using this trip as leverage to accompany who you are as a person? If you're doing that, then you're about it all wrong. So I would say if you know that you're in a serious relationship with somebody and you're not trying to trick, as they call it, by this, using this trip, I would say a good six months knowing the person, you like this person, y'all are in a serious, committed relationship, you guys can explore going out of the country or maybe start off small. You can go to San Antonio, you know, Riverwalk or wherever local nice place that wherever you're from and start with that because going out of town with somebody that you just met is a little awkward, you know? Yeah. So I would say... You know, start small and then bigger trips after six months. You know, um, I've been out here, you know, in this dating market, um, especially in, you know, uh, 2019. And, you know, I would meet uh, women and, you know, after a few days, they'll be like, oh, yeah, we need to go on a trip together. We need to plan a trip. Several dates? Several dates, yeah. Oh. And I'll just be like, why is this a common theme? (laughs) Why is everybody trying to go somewhere with Turks and Caicos? Well, well, you know what, though? Um, it was my personal branding. You know, um, if they'll see my social media, they'll see that I travel a lot. And they'll yeah. be like, whoa, that's something I like about him. You know, tell me these trips you need to go on. Maybe you need to take me. So I, I guess I get it. But uh, that's not something I was trying to do. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I'm not taking you on no trips, man. <laughs> but, I mean, somebody could think about it like, okay. You want to go somewhere. You don't want to go somewhere alone. So you might as well bring someone that you like, right? Maybe somebody that you're dating. Or after you... three days? No, nah, not after three days, man. I don't know. But if you're in a relationship with somebody, you see it going somewhere. If you want to go on a trip with somebody, like I said, y'all take a trip to L.A., do something small. It doesn't have to be big time, you know? Yeah. Get to know who that person is outside of the country. I mean, inside of the states, and then go out of the country with that person. Okay. So after three dates, that sounds a little predatory. <laughs> so to be clear, you don't think uh, bringing up going on a trip is a good talking point for people who just started dating? Um. Well, if she's just trying to have a conversation with you and try to see what kind of places you've been to, just to know who you are as a person, I don't think it's a bad talking That's point. a great talking point that way, but I'm talking about, hey... If she's serious, well, well, you know, I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I'm going to leave it up to you. Um, To me, it was just always a little weird. Yeah. You know, um, I just thought that, I don't know you like that. <laughs> So maybe no for now, but you know, obviously, right? You know, if we're dating a while and I really like you, yeah, we can go somewhere. Yeah. Okay. You know, but I'm thinking more like a year into the relationship. It could be six months if I really like, I mean, the pandemic messes up everything, you know, in my logic for thinking of things, but no pandemic, the world is open. Um, Maybe after six months, if I really like the person and we're both invested in each other. Yeah. After you know, six months, you know who the person is. A little weekend trip. It wouldn't be no, nothing very long and extravagant. Right. You know. Um, but yeah, but now, you know, if the expectation is like, if I get with him, you know, he can fly me out and we're going to go to Brazil and all that. And oh, just, no, 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 no. Just don't even waste your time. <laughs> I'm not that type of guy, so. <laughs> <laughs>